Hi, this tutorial was created for TPT sellers. We are going to see how to add most emojis to TPT category lists. I have three examples here that I have already tested. I have Halloween on the left, Christmas specials in the middle, and summer deals. On the left is the one I intend to, to use the most. But I'm going to try to use some seasonal categories too, and I'm going to put them at the top of my list when the time comes. Using emojis was not that easy. I had to do some reading on the topic, so I decided to create this tutorial to help out those teacher sellers who also wish to try something like this. So if you think this is useful for you, just stick around. To create categories with emojis on TPT, you have to follow the usual steps for creating categories. This is my website. We need to come back here in a bit, but first I'm going to show you those steps on my TPT store. Well, here we are. Welcome to Up-to-Date Skills TPT store, one of my business projects for the coming year. Wish me luck. I'm going to scroll, scroll down a bit to my custom categories. As you can see, I use emojis, okay, for my categories. But this was not very easy at the beginning because I didn't know exactly how to do it. Some emojis didn't actually stick. They would disappear once I saved the category. So I'm going to show you how to do this. To start adding categories or to man manage the categories you have already created, you have to choose my product listings from this drop down list. So my product listings. When this page opens, you have to click on manage your categories. If you don't have categories yet, you may not have to scroll down. So manage your categories. This is the page you can manage your categories. As you can see, I have a couple of them already, but if you don't have categories yet, so this is what you will see. You will see an empty line where you can add your category description. Click here to add a new one and don't forget to save the changes you have done at the end. Well, let me scroll up again. As you can see, I have different categories. In some of them, you will see the emoji that I have used, but in others, you will see the code. And why is that? Because the emojis that I have used up here or with these, the copy pasting technique would not work. I'm going back to my website to show you how this works. I have created a blog post about it. The blog post is how to create custom categories with emojis on TPT. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. And if you open the blog post, you will see well, you will see some examples. You will also see some text that you can read, of course, and you will see a link to the video tutorial, the one you are watching now. And you will also have a step-by-step -step tutorial with screenshots, just in case you prefer to go back to this. And then if you keep on scrolling down, you will see emoji lists. Here I have different sections. The first section, for example, includes all the emojis that you can just copy paste. Let's say you want to create a category for projects or for writing projects. I'm going to select this pencil here and copy it. Then I'm going to my custom category management page and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to write writing projects. And then I'm going to add the category and it's there and I'm going to save changes. If you scroll down, you will see the category here, writing projects. If the clip art appears, it means that it will stick. However, if you go to your store page, the one that your customers see, you will notice that the category you have added is not there yet, but don't worry because it will be. I'm going back to my website to show you emojis that are special because they require code such as this one that you see here. So if you scroll down, you will see a different section. You will see a section for all the emojis that require code. This means you can't just copy paste the picture of the emoji. You have to copy the code, only the code actually. I have grouped them into different topics. So you have faces, you have school, you have books, you have other, keep on scrolling down. 
you will find special celebrations. So far, I have Halloween, Christmas, St. Valentine, and St. Patrick's. I have another section for seasons. I have a selection for spring, summer, fall, and winter emojis. And you can just come here and select the code you want. So let's say I want to create a spring selection of products. So I'm going to copy and paste the code, just the code. Remember that it's important. I'm going back to my category page on TPT and I'm going to paste the code and I'm going to write spring, sorry, spring deals. And I'm going to add the category. I've added it with code, okay? And I'm going to save changes. As you can see, the category appears here because I've added a code. I'm going back to the category management page. Sorry, where's my listings? Just give me a second here. And I'm going to delete the category I have created, which is this one in the code, the spring deals. And I'm going back to my blog post and I'm going to select the flower that I wanted to use for my spring deals. And now that I copy paste the flower, it shows here. And I'm going to write spring deals again. And I'm going to add the new category and I'm going to save changes. But now let's see what happens. Well, the category is here, do you see it? And it has no emoji symbol. And why? Because this is a special symbol. So you cannot use the emoji itself. You have to use the code. So let's go back to the category management page and delete this one. So it is that easy. This is all you have to do. Another thing that I wanted to see uh, with you is, let me go back to my page is how to make sure that this category or a certain category sticks to the top of your category list. There's one thing we have to remember to be able to do this is that categories are organized in alphabetical order. However, once you use an emoji symbol, the emoji has a code and numbers and certain symbols come before letters. So that's how I'm able to keep all these planners in the same sequence and then only these in a different way because they all have the same symbol at the beginning. However, if I didn't use a certain code for this one, I would not be able to stick it to the top. I have some more information about this on the blog post that you can read. So they have to start with 10 or with 100. I mean, the code for the symbol you are using. I like to use these, arrow, I call them arrows, but they are actually pointers. I, I like to use these pointers here. Uh, at the beginning, they are quite subtle. I don't, I don't have this category or I don't intend to have this category at the top. Always I intend to put the special products here at the top. For example, when spring comes or when winter comes or Christmas, I might have a different category here at the top. You can try and do that. And let me go back to my blog post to show you this in an easier way. So I'm going to keep on scrolling down now. The next section, section you will find are emoji sequences that you can use to create list toppers. By list toppers, I mean the category that you want to see at the top of the list. You can read this text. It's what I've been telling you. Now, I'm going to move down. And as you can see here, you have the a list of pointing angle brackets that you can use to make sure that your category sticks to the top. And why are you sure? Because it starts with 100. So uh, as it goes in alphabetical order, these this would be a smaller number, okay? Now let's see, go down here. I want to show you some of the examples that I have for you. So let's say you want to do something like this. So you want the, the these angles here, and then you have um, a different category for back to school specials or on sale, whatever. So these emojis that I have used, most of them, they require code. So the sequence you need is this one. If you want to use this one, you can just copy paste this and, uh, and put it in your category section. And the same for these, as you can see this pencil here, 
uh, requires two different codes. And uh, the same with this uh, tag here. So you have also two different codes. You can use these, that's not a problem. So you have these below, okay? I have one for summer deals, another one for Christmas specials and for Halloween too. These are just some examples. If you need some help creating some, some sequences, you can, you can let me know. But I just copy paste the code. That's what I've done. Now, I'm going to use this one so that you can see. Let's say, well, let's say the Christmas specials. I'm going to copy paste it. Oh, sorry, let me go back to my category management page and I'm going to save changes and as you can see I have a Christmas specials here I kept my all products category I don't intend to change it now but you can actually change this so that it goes to another part of, of your list or just delete it uh, if you want to now as you can see copy pasting at the sequence that I have on my blog post is enough, but you can select other emojis if you want to. I'm going to post the link to this blog post in the video description below so that you can come back to it later on and try it out for yourselves. Now that I have created these two categories with you, the Christmas specials and the other one down here for the writing projects, I'm going to add products to one of them to show you something else. Let's say I want to add this editable social media calendar to my Christmas special. So I'm going to click here on quit quick edit. Remember I'm in my product listings page and I'm going to scroll down to the custom category section. I'm going to add the, the category Christmas specials, and I'm going to click update. I'm going to refresh the page. And as you can see, I have here one product already, and I still have zero products in the writing projects category. So if I go to my store now, and remember, you can only see your categories after a couple of minutes. Sometimes it might take literally just a couple of minutes, but this time it actually took me about 10 minutes. As you can see, I have my Christmas specials here already, but I do not have the writing projects. And why? Because it's empty. So if a, a category has zero products, it will not show to your customers, but you will still be able to see it if you go to my products list, my product listings. and this will help you plan your project ahead, okay? And populate the category later on. Well, I guess this is it. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Uh, if you need some help with some specific code, just let me know. I'll try to find it for you and post it in the, in the blog post. And please share this tutorial with other TPT sellers that might need it. I will leave the link to the blog post in the description below. And again, I guess this is it. So bye-bye.